Welcome back to another V Rising video. In this video, we're going to be talking about some tips to get you started on your first fresh wipe experience in V Rising. Now, it's been about a month since the Secrets of Gloomra update has dropped, so we are just about to see the one month servers wipe. So, I want to give you some experience that I've learned over my hundreds of hours as a V Rising veteran. So, let's get started. Now, the first tip I'm going to give you as you start your first fresh wipe is to go and get Alpha Wolf directly out of the tutorial zone. If you watch this here, I teleported from the tutorial zone to East Farbane and we're headed just south of Rufus's lumber camp next to the Dunley Cave exit. At this point, we are about level 10. Just complete that first series of quests to get your bone plate armor. Alpha Wolf is not that hard. I promise you now, if you could just use your abilities and keep your distance and keep your spacing, he really is not all that dangerous, especially with the life orbs that spawn when you get him to half HP. Make sure you take advantage of those. Uh, focus on the wolves whenever you need to, the adds that he spawns, but otherwise just keep your distance, stay healthy, and you'll be just fine. The next tip is going to be don't just follow the quest line. Use your PvP protection to get high value mats, as well as a horse and other important items such as your merciless copper weapon recipe before you make your base. Unless there's a specific base that you absolutely want to get that's a, you know, popular location, I highly recommend that you just use the 30 minutes or so, depending on what servers you're on, that you get to set yourself up for success for the rest of your Act 1 experience. And for the next tip, don't waste your time crafting every type of copper weapon. Only pick one and stick to that for the entirety of Act 1. The same thing kind of goes for iron. Don't get caught up making every single type of iron weapon. Now there are some uses and it benefits to having multiple types, like having slashers and axes, or maybe having two weapons that really complement each other. But in the copper tier, don't waste your time doing that. Once you get to silver and beyond, then if you want to, go crazy. But there really isn't a point to doing this whenever you're at such a low level. Just get the thing you need to get out of tier one and then move on. The next tip is going to be, don't be afraid to PvP. Now I know it can be kind of daunting, especially if you don't have a lot of experience doing it, but the more effort you put into it, the more you'll get out of it. Even in the cases where you lose, it is okay. You're going to get more and more information and grow better and better as you fight. In this situation here, we had a couple players who have been going around hunting solo players and ganging up on them. So what did we us solo players do? We decided to make a quick temporary truce between the two of us and we ganged up, ganged up back on them and decided to make them see what happened whenever they didn't have the power of numbers. This is the kind of thing you can look for on these PvP servers. Whether you have a duo or not, if you have another partner, it's okay. Just keep putting the effort into it. The more you put into it, the better you'll get. You'll understand these fights a lot more. And we were able to close this fight out clean and easy two to zero between the two of us with this temporary truce. You'll see here that I decided to focus the low HP target, but I got punished for it. However, it was not really that big a deal. I made chase. He ran into a corner here and got punished for it. Next, I got the instant counter, dodged the other player, and then was able to finish this guy off as well. Our next tip is going to be get your iron before your cotton. That may seem obvious to a lot of players, but I feel like some people may not recognize just how important it is to do this. Iron takes a very long time to refine. So if you spend your time looking for iron while you're affected by the garlic from cotton, then you're going to have an extremely difficult time getting the stuff that you need on time and easily. So get your iron before the cotton so that while the iron is refining, you're gaining cotton. 
then you can head back to base with your insane garlic stacks, go to bear form, and drop the garlic while everything is crafting at the same time, so that by the time your garlic is gone, you come out of your base, hopefully with an iron weapon and a full set of holofang. The next tip is going to be, don't fight bosses until you actually need them, most of the time. And I stress most of the time because we all have our personal preference in terms of favorite abilities to use. Maybe you get a good jewel here and there from a chest or a fight somehow that maybe you want to go fight that boss right away to get unlock their spell, unlock their ability. But for the most part, in my opinion, it doesn't make sense to fight a boss that you don't actually need until you really need it. Specifically something like, in this instance, Gorswine, where I didn't really need to be grinding bone dust until about this time when I was working on uh, Scourge Stone and whatnot for my Grave Dust. So keep that in mind, fights will become way easier this way. You don't have to follow every single boss up the blood tree in order to progress to the next act. And the last tip for today is going to be always have a plan before you leave your base and stick to it so that you don't get distracted and waste time doing things that aren't necessarily needed in order to progress. Obviously, if you see something happening that you can take advantage of, like a high value blood percentage, maybe there's something, some kind of PVP going on, or a boss that you need right then, that's not necessarily a bad thing to do. However, try to avoid running around aimlessly looking for something to do. Always have a plan before you leave your base. That's gonna do it for this tip video. I hope this was helpful and I hope you are excited for your first fresh wipe experience in V Rising. This game is amazing and honestly, the second, third, fourth times that you play it, it just keeps getting better and better and I'm sure you're going to have an absolutely fantastic time. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this type of content or you're looking for more long form style content with full progression runs, feel free to subscribe and we will catch you in the next one.